How's it going and welcome back. Today I want to show you and talk a little bit about the games that I finished this year because it wasn't always like that. Um, last year I'd start a game, play a little bit of it, and then I'd start another game, play a little bit of it, and I'd start another one, and I wasn't getting anywhere. I started all these games and I'd go back to the game I was playing before and I'd forget where I was at and I had to start it all over again. So I thought, forget it. I'm not going to play this game anymore. So I thought this year I'd do something a little bit different. I thought that i will try to play a game from the beginning to the end. So the first game uh, I got through, and to be honest with you, this one, I started it at the very end of 2021. And I actually finished this one on New Year's Eve after midnight. I'm not even kidding you, after midnight. Uh, so I'm going to count it. I'm going to count it as the first game that I finished in 2022, and that is Ratchet & Clank A Rift Apart for the PS5. Um, beautiful, beautiful game. The controls are awesome, the story's good, the music is amazing. The cutscenes to gameplay are seamless. The transition from cutscenes to gameplay are seamless. I'll be sitting there watching a cutscene, I'm just staring at, at the screen and all of a sudden I'm like, oh, I'm supposed to be playing the game. I start up to playing and all of a sudden I go into a cutscene. It was like that, that seamless. I was like, oh my gosh, this game is so good. If you haven't, or if you have a PS5 and you haven't played this yet, I don't know how you, ha how you haven't, but if you haven't, I highly recommend you pick this one up, you know. And if you don't have a PS5 and you're getting one for Christmas this year, you know, ask for this game. I promise you, you will not be disappointed at all. So, this next game took about two months of my life. And that's Elden Ring. I didn't know if I was exactly gonna like enjoy this game because I have a, a history with like the Souls games that I'll start them and I'll get so frustrated that I'll put them away and I'll never play them again. Because, you know, they are really tough games. Very difficult, very difficult. So I started this game up and number one, the game looks absolutely gorgeous. I gotta say that. And I thought, man, here we go. The game started up, went to the tutorial and there was times where I was getting frustrated and I just wanted to stop playing, but I kept on. And the further I, I got into the game, the better I got at playing it, and I've said this before, you know, and this goes for any Souls game, not only Elden Ring, that uh, the more you play, the better understanding I got of the game, the easier it was for me. And I, I understand people talk about this game and how hard it is, but after a while, I believe that Elden Ring is a lot easier than some of the Souls games that are out there. Way easier. You know, I'm pretty sure other people will say, will say different, but... To me, Elden Ring was easy. Easiest game, one of the easiest Souls games that I've ever played. There were times that it did get difficult, and I was playing this game every day for a couple of hours after work, and on the weekends, like a whole afternoon, till I finally got to the end boss, the Elden Beast, and I couldn't beat him. I absolutely couldn't beat him. I was getting frustrated. I almost quit this game. I was already at the very end. I almost quit this game. And a buddy of mine, he actually finished the game way before I did. And I told him I, I couldn't beat the boss. I couldn't, I could not beat the boss, the end boss. So I share played the game with him, share played my controller with him, because he lives out of town. And even he had a difficult time beating the boss for whatever reason. At the very end of, the, of my playthrough, the, the difficulty ramped up a little bit. But he got through it. He beat the game. And I was so happy when I watched him beat it. And I was like, I'm done. This game is done. I'm never playing it again. And I haven't. And I probably never will. But uh, if you played a Souls game and you don't think that Elden Ring is going to be for you, give it, a, give it a chance. Give it a chance. I promise you I think it's a it's a lot easier like I said than a lot of the Souls games that are out there the next game uh, is one of those games I was talking about that I started and I didn't finish and that's uh, Tomb Raider definitive edition 
you know I got after it right after Soul or right after Elden Ring and like I said I was completely lost I forgot where I was in the game I forgot the controls you know I started this game like over a year ago and I was lost I knew I wasn't that far into the game so but it was bothering me uh, this is one of the games that I did want to finish because I had finished uh, was it Tomb Raider Rise of the Tomb Raider and uh, Shadow of the Tomb Raider so I was like this one needed to get done I finally got through it and once I did uh, I felt relieved it was like a weight off my shoulder now I gotta say that it's not the prettiest looking game <laughs> this one is not the prettiest looking game I think the game that like I really fell in love with was uh, Rise of the Tomb Raider probably my all-time favorite game of the year the year that I finished it but yeah love that game that I love this one not so much you know I, I thought this one was a little it had its flaws it had like its glitches not I would say glitches but it just didn't look as nice as the as, as the other two but I'm glad I'm done with it and I'm glad I never have to revisit it again this next game uh, a buddy of mine got for me and I didn't know if I was gonna like it or not I saw him playing it and I thought hmm I thought maybe one day I'll pick it up and the day after I saw him playing it he went and bought it for me because I guess he wanted me to have it also and that's uh, Ghost of, of Tsushima Sushi. Some people say Tsushima. I think it's Tsushima. So how they pronounce it in the game. I absolutely fell in love with this game. I had so much fun playing it. I tried to do every single mission that I possibly could. To where I got, you know, so far into the game where I was almost like level capped. And I was like, it's time just to finish this game. I really didn't want to. Because once I got done with the game, I kind of felt bummed out. I felt kind of bummed out because... I was like, this was a game that I was playing every single day after work, like uh, Elden Ring. Same thing with Elden Ring, man. When I was playing that game, I almost I started having dreams of that that damn thing. But yeah, Tsushima, Ghost of Tsushima, I enjoyed it, man. And the whole story was awesome. The graphics were 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 pretty good. See, now this was a PS4 game first, you know. They just ported it onto the PS5. Uh, a buddy of mine did tell me, you know, like pick it up when it was when it first came out on the PS4. I had thought about it, but I never did, and I'm glad I waited. But yes, Ghost of Tsushima is a good game. The story's awesome. I was it Feudal Japan? Is it Feudal Japan? I might be wrong. I don't know. But bloody, <laughs> talk about a bloody game. Bloody fun. So this next game. Is another one of those games that I started playing and I didn't finish. Um, as a matter of fact, I deleted it off my console because I thought I was never going to play this game again. It's one of those games that only gave like maybe like a twenty minute, a twenty minute playthrough, and I stopped playing it because uh, I didn't get it. I didn't get it. So after I finished Ghost of Tsushima, I thought, you know what, man, it's time for another adventure. So I'm going to give this this game another try. And see how it goes and that's Horizon Zero Dawn and I gotta say I gotta say that I absolutely fell in love with this game I thought man the story was awesome well I guess it was awesome but it was very good the gameplay was very good and halfway through the game, I was like, man, I can't believe I put this game down. I bought it when it first came out. So I should have finished it way back then. But I'm glad I didn't. And I'll tell you why here in a second. But I played through it. I went and looked for missions, for side quests, so I could continue playing the game. I It didn't come with uh, DLC. Not this copy. I'm sure they sell copies with DLC already on, on there, but this one didn't. But I played through this game and man, I had a really good time playing through it. I level capped my character. I did everything I could possibly do in this game. And when I finished it, 
I actually had a tear in my eye because the game was finished. I was like, man. Now the reason that I'm glad that I didn't, you know, finish this game back when it first came out was because now they have Horizon Forbidden West and that's also a PS4 game. I probably would have picked it up for the PS4. But when I saw it was on the PS5, now I got excited. I was like, oh my gosh, here we go, man. Another Horizon game. To be honest with you, I didn't even know there was a part two <laughs> until I finished this game. And I looked it up and I was like, wait a minute, there's another one? Are you serious right now? So yeah, I don't have that one yet, but uh, I'm hoping to get it pretty soon. And as soon as I do, I can guarantee you I'm going to play through that game from beginning to end. And I'm going to try to play as much as I possibly can on that game. And of course, I'll get it on the PS5 because I'd rather play it that way than on the PS4. Uh, it looks like it's a more uh, definitive edition of the game, I guess. Uh, that's what I'm trying to say. But yeah, Horizon Zero, Zero Dawn. Awesome game, amazing game, amazing game. I could honestly say that this probably is my game of the year for sure. Again, another game that I started and I didn't finish. I, th I thought I was near the end, but I wasn't. And that's uh, God of War. With the release of the new God, uh, God of War Ragnarok coming out, I thought I better get to this one if I want to play the next one, right? I thought I was almost done with this. Hell no. I had a long way to go. So I sat there for, you know, a few days and played through this game. Probably like a week. Had like a week's worth. Or the time that I had to play games, you know. Played it for about a week and I, I got through it. Did I love the game? I thought it was alright. I thought it was alright. For, for a God of War game, I thought it was okay. The relationship between Kratos and his son was, was pretty good. Uh, there was times that Kratos, oh my god, dude. He got on my freaking nerves. The way he acted with his son in this game, it, it kind of bothered me. Come here, boy. Boy, he's always calling him boy. And you could tell that like the son was like trying to uh, build some kind of relationship with his dad. And Kratos was an asshole. He's been an asshole. So I've never, I haven't played Ragnarok yet, but uh, I will. Eventually, I will. But I couldn't believe what a dick. <laughs> Kratos was a dick in this game to his son. I was like, and that kind of bothered me a little bit, but I got through it. I didn't think it was a great game, but I won, that was one of the games that I did start and I did want to finish and I finally got through it. And like I said, I thought it was pretty good. And we'll just see, I see all these people playing Ragnarok online. I'm like, I'm not watching anything. I don't want to watch no videos on it. I don't want no spoilers. I want to go into it not knowing anything. So hopefully, uh, not this year, but hopefully this coming year, I'll start on Ragnarok and we'll see how that goes. This next game is a game that I did want to play through in October, and I did, and it's Luigi's Mansion 3. Now I have the first one, I have the second one, and I've never played them. I finished the third one first. Hey, what can I say, man? This is a game I've been wanting to play for a while now. Um, I thought it was fun. I thought it was a lot of fun. Uh, it's a fun little game. Not that long. I think it was like 13 hours long or whatever. It was a, it was an all right game, and I liked it. Uh, I thought it was I thought it, it looked graphically it was kind of impressive for like the Switch. I really enjoyed it, but uh, will I play it again? Probably not. Probably probably not. I might go back and start playing Luigi's Mansion the first one. Then pull out the 3DS and play. Was it Dark Moon? Is that the second one? Is that the second one? Is that what it's called? So I, I might play through those ones, but I probably won't go back and play Luigi's Mansion 3 again. Not that it was a bad game. Like I said, it's not a bad game. I just one of those games that I play through it and that's it. Now we're we're at the last game, and I have a love hate relationship with this game uh, and that is The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt let me tell you I have it on the PS4 and I've tried playing this game I've tried it and I just I couldn't get into it 
no matter what I did, I couldn't get into it. So I just stopped playing it. And then I picked it up and I tried it again. And I thought, well, maybe this time will be different. I started it up again. Nope. Couldn't do it, man. I just couldn't do it. It was, something, it was just something about this game that I didn't like. I don't know what it was. I just didn't like it. So I stopped playing it again. And I forgot about it. Here we go again. For the third time. I thought, okay, let me try this one more time. And see if anything's changed for me in this game. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. I was like, I, I can't do this. I can't. I cannot. So, and you know, I don't know what it was. I don't know what it was about this game. I just, I couldn't do it. I just didn't like it at all. Whatever it was about this game, I just, I just didn't like it. I don't know if it was the controls or what. I just, I didn't care for it whatsoever. So this year for my birthday, my buddy's like, he saw, he saw my video that I'm going to start collecting, you know, Nintendo Switch games, which I still am. You know, I said I was going to try to get to 900 or 900. Oh, my God. I was going to try to get to 100 by uh, by May, which, that's a lot. But anyways, he sent me Witcher 3 for my birthday. I was like, dude, I have it on PS4. I'm thinking... Why would I play it on the Switch? Whatever, right? So after I finished Luigi's Mansion 3, I was thinking, what game am I going to play next? I thought, you know what? What the hell? One more time. One more time. So I put it in. And I started playing it. And I... I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. That first hour was like grueling. I was like, oh God. It's one of those games that I did not want to sit here and be playing. I really did and I was like, oh my God. It's like, dude, I don't want to be playing this. I don't want to be playing this. And I was playing it. And then I got past the point where I would not normally stop playing this game. And I kept going a little bit further. And then the story got a little bit more interesting. And the world opened up a little bit more. I started going a little bit more, start playing a little bit more of it. And I gotta say, I gotta say, before I knew it, again, I fell in love with this game. I could not stop playing it. I'd be at work and I'd be thinking about coming home to play Witcher 3. There'd be days that I wanted to call in to work just so I could stay home and play this thing. I thought, man, what the hell happened? What's going on here? Because, uh, to be honest with you, playing it on the Switch, it's not the prettiest thing. It's not the prettiest looking thing at all. It's pretty rough on the eyes. Let me tell you. I guess when they did the, when they ported it onto the Switch, off of like the PS4 or the, the Xbox One or whatever, it didn't port too nicely. <laughs> It's not the prettiest looking game, and it has its flaws. I don't know if it's like that on the PS4 or on the Xbox, but on the Switch, it has its flaws. You know, it's got it's got some glitches in there, and I found I found some, and I was like, oh my god! But it didn't stop me from playing the game. And I was just thinking, man, if I could, I would play this. I'd rather play this on the PS4. But I was so far into the game, I was like, I am not starting over again. And finally, like maybe three weeks ago, I finally finished the game and I was like, shit, I actually played all the way through The Witcher 3. I couldn't believe it. I was like, oh my God. And then, it, I, I, I kid you not, I kid you not, 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 not a few days passed after I finished this thing and they announced they're doing like what's like a, a graphic upgrade overhaul and they're bringing it onto the PS5 with like DLC. It's gonna have, you know, 
change your character to look like uh, the character from from the Netflix series. I was like, holy shit. It's going to be a download first, and then they're going to come out with an actual copy of the game. Because like for, like for the download, you have to have a copy of, of Witcher 3. Whether it be for PS4 or for PS5 or whatever. But uh, if you wait a little bit, you know, you can get the game on CD with everything already on there. All the DLC and all that. And my buddy's like, are you going to pick it up? I'm like, hell yes. <laughs> yes. Yes, I am. I absolutely am. Am I going to play through it again? Yes. Yes, I will. I will. Because I believe, and I'm not too sure, but I believe that there's multiple endings, I think. So, once I play it again, and some I'm going to play on the PS5, I will play through it a little bit different than I did on the Switch. But now that I have a better understanding of the game and the controls, I think I'll have a lot more fun with it. And I think it'll be a lot easier than when I first tried playing it a long time ago. But yeah, those are the games that I finished in 2022. I haven't started any more games up. I don't want to play any more games. Oh, any more big games this year. I'm going to wait uh, for Christmas. And then I'll start another one. You know, start the new year off. Or start the new year's off right with the big game. You know, I don't want to start a game now and and continue playing it till next year because like I said I don't have that much time to play games so it takes me a little bit longer to finish them than other people but yeah those are the games that I finished this is the one that I felt more accomplished well actually I felt a big accomplishment uh, playing through this one and a huge accomplishment actually no a big accomplishment playing through this one and a huge accomplishment playing through The Witcher I gotta tell you right now man but I'm glad I did it I can't wait for the I, I can't call it a remake but you know the, the graphical overhaul to come out so I can play that one as well anyways thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one